Hey guys, it's been a while since I uploaded a video. I haven't really, I haven't really wanted to make one lately just because it's cold as fuck here in Wisconsin and my heater's constantly running out in the garage. But I've been working on my brother's uh, budget, budget Integra B20 build. Not really touching my car. I'm not really caring about it at this moment. Um, so I figured I'd just give an update on that after the, I think it was the last time, it was like three months that I've uploaded anything. I never really, I didn't film any process of uh, what building the manifold, downpipe, wastegate, and intercooler stuff. But here's a quick little update. I'll just show you if I can get this motherfucker to... Okay, so he's had this Skunk 2 manifold forever. Um, decided just to hit it with some high gloss temperature, high temp paint just to clean it up. It was getting a lot of just wear and tear on it and looked ugly as fuck. So that's going to be going back on it. But I found this intercooler and in my rafters here. Redid the in tanks on it. So now it is a dual back door intercooler. There, then three inch on this side. We're replacing. We're getting rid of this fucking HKS style bove. The uh, got it for dirt cheap. Snap rings fucking junk. And it's just a pain in the ass to get in. So we're just gonna go with a newer style V band. Um, we got a three core radiator and got that. It's mount proper location, I guess you'd say. We took, drilled out the spot welds for the factory, uh, factory uh, radiator on this side, moved it, and then welded it back in here and just made a little bracket there, but that seems to fit good. We'll probably end up having to trim this hose down, upper radiator hose down. Um, it's just picked up RC750s. Those will do just well for his goals, somewhere around 200, maybe over anything over that's probably a plus I guess we're not shooting very high um built the manifold got that all done it's all back purged a mini ram um let's see tile wastegate and I don't know the best light but his downpipe I just pie cut pie cutted it and routed it back to V band to the rest of the exhaust said Kept it. I had everything laying around, so we wanted to keep it cheap and might as well use it up. So did that. Same with the uh, the dump tube. Wanted to route it with the uh, with the downpipe, but with the radiator being where it's at, it wasn't gonna work like that. So I guess whatever, it'll work right there. So now I have the boost Grimsky rim speed boost controller mounted. And I just have to drill and tap the uh, inlet side on the turbo, so we can run a hose off of that. And all we need pretty much now is a oil return bung and a sandwich plate with a feed line. And once he gets S300, we should be set to go get it tuned. Um, other than that, we're just kind of going at it slowly here. It is, he's doing this on a budget, so he throws money at it when he can, which is all right with me, but it's taking up my fucking garage, so I can't get my LSD in my hatch. So that's just sitting here. Did pick up a street shifter K Tune 1 with the fifth lockout. And I just actually ordered the uh, K-Tune base plate today. And next I have to get new cables or bushings. Probably just get new cables since I don't know how many miles, how old these cables are. They might be stretched, but all the bushings are pretty much shit and junk. And yeah, that's about it for all this. If there's anything else you guys want to see me do, like tech videos, how to build something from scratch, a fuel cell, anything welding, aluminum, fabrication-wise, let me know. Type in the comments. 
know like probably 15 people will see this video so not a big not a big deal to me um but yeah i'm sure i'll do that once i get his car out of here and there's no snow on the damn ground i'm pulling mine out and do the uh lsd and probably just do like a step-by-step -step video on case here's training for people who don't know how to do it or just want to watch something possibly do it too with the uh, k-tune shifter i don't know I uh, ditched the individual throttle bodies on mine just because cost and performance gain. I'll just stick with the RBC and leave it at that for a year and see where she goes. But anything you guys want to see me do or learn how to do something, let me know. Thanks for watching.